three cyber attacks in OT environment uh, has been happening. It's just that it probably receives lesser attention. This is similar to a ransomware situation that you will see with a bank. When you imagine the pipeline doesn't flow, the, water, the oil doesn't flow anymore. There is, there is huge application. It can be um, also uh, for other non-financial uh, reasons. They may want to sabotage a country's infrastructure. So exactly. traditionally, when we when people talk about cybersecurity, is about IT. So you you would naturally think about data center, server, storage, network, the devices, the mobility devices, the laptops, the PCs. But um, increasingly, we also see um, uh, attacks in OT environment. So what are exactly OT environment? OT environment is uh, uh, for example, the water treatment plant, the nuclear power plant, the electrical grid, the manufacturing plants, the steel mill, right? The the so these are the large. These are the manufacturing plants. These are large scale utility uh, facilities. Um, but if you think about it, these huge machinery are actually controlled by IT systems as well. Okay, so if you talk about IT systems, um, you will be, these are all, it, it's all data in the form of systems, um, in the, say, the, the banking app that you use. In the IT, OT environment, um, these computers are controlling the SCADA systems. The SCADA systems are the one that um, decide when to open the floodgate, when to close the valve, when to pump the electricity across, when to dispense the, the ingredient into the manufacturing plant, how much to dispense. So these are controlling machinery for your manufacturing, for your utilities. So it's a different uh, set of environment, but just as important because you can you imagine if the the IT system were to fail, then this machinery will not work, or they you dispense the different ingredient or too much ingredient into say a mixer for your pharmaceutical company, then you will produce different medicine, or the whole batch needs to be thrown away, right? or if you have a steel mill that is uh, um, put mixing the different types of uh, ingredient to making a steel pipe, a uh, steel bar. But because you put the wrong ingredient, the entire bar needs to be thrown away. Uh, or if I were to shut it down, the furnace stopped burning. It takes a day to restart the furnace and for it to start burning again. So you can imagine the implication uh, can be quite huge when it comes to disruption in an OT environment. Actually, cyber attacks in OT environment uh, has been happening. It's just that it probably receives lesser attention. Right? Um, we have seen uh, attacks on um, one of the pipelines in the oil pipelines in the uh, in the US, right? And they ask for ransom. This is similar to a ransomware situation that you will see with a bank. Right? But imagine the pipeline doesn't flow, the, water, the oil doesn't flow anymore. There is, there is huge implication. Mm. You, you, they can, you may even have, say, a ransomware attack on, say, a retail plant. Um, and the warehouse doesn't move. And because the warehouse stocking, you do not know how much to take out from your warehouse, um, your retail actually comes to a stop. It can happen too. So similar to IT cybersecurity attack, um, there can be multiple uh, uh, objectives behind it. <clears throat> it can be for commercial, 
right? So it can be a ransomware or it can be a, a, a ransomware situation that they are asking you to pay ransom. It can be um, also uh, for other non-financial uh, reasons. They may want to sabotage a country's infrastructure. They may want to uh, sabotage a competitor's uh, operation. Such things can happen. So it depends. Right? So, so they may be using a system that is very old. The vendor that is supplying them the system, supply the, the, the machinery, and they supply the control system, they also supply the IT system that control the control system. But that company that supplies the machinery may be out of business. Right? Or that company that the, the, the integrator that put all these things together may no longer exist. Or there are changes in the technology, the company decide not to move on because the operation still runs very well. So that's one aspect, the, the vendor that's serving them. The other aspect is the people. The people who usually run operations, manufacturing lines, utilities, these are not IT, these are operation people. They are not so IT savvy. So to them, if the machinery runs, what's more important is to make sure that it runs efficiently. Is machinery being oil? Is it producing the right product? They don't really care too much about the IT. And traditionally, these systems are, are air gap. So when I say air gap, what it means is these systems are not connected to the network. It's not connected to anyone, right? So it exists by itself. No one touches it. It's fine. But these days, everyone wants to work from home. Everyone wants to collect information remotely. Everyone wants to connect up and collect data so that they can see how to improve their operation. Sometimes the vendor themselves to the machinery will say, can you connect so that I can remotely come in from my HQ to do the diagnostic for you? And you have to connect. And when that happens, it gives a hacker a chance to come in. So what we see today is this convergence that's happening between IT and OT, uh, which is one of the main topic today, the convergence of IT and OT, because we see that some of the ideas in IT security can be used in OT security. Some of the technology in IT security is the same as OT uh, security. So there's a lot of cross-pollination that can happen. Um, on top of that, in terms of skill sets to manage the, the cyber security aspect of this, you will see that the same set of custom, the same set of skilled labor for one side can be used for the other side. And the more you connect the system together, the more data you can derive from it. Um, from a system, from a, a, a business perspective, you can derive more intelligent data. It helps in the business. Not necessarily so much on the IT security part of it, but the business needs such data to enrich its operation, right? So, so it will come the point in time that the business wants information to flow. Yeah. And when information needs to flow, you need to connect. When you need to connect, you need to protect. So we, we do a lot of such uh, events to, to spread the message. Um, we also do a lot of engagement at the country level. So like here, for example, we engage uh, SCSA. Uh, in fact, SCS is also speaking in this event. Um, so that sets the tone and set, that sets, that, that spreads the awareness. Um, that also has that collaboration element. So whatever we see in other country, um, we can tell them our use cases. Whatever they see as use cases in Thailand can also be brought across to our daily work in other countries. So there's some cross-pollination that's happening. Um, and also on our front, when we reach the customer, um, it is not about selling them, oh, this product works, these are the features, it will work for you, that, that kind of pitch. We, we usually will engage customer in more strategic discussion. Um, we have helped several customers build um, uh, 
security roadmap, three year, five year security roadmap. Uh, what are the elements they need to build? I mean, of course, from a from a vendor perspective, we would like to provide everything, but the reality is we we cannot provide all the solutions. Right? So, but when we draw a security framework, we draw a security roadmap, the elements need to be in. So the the CISO understand that okay, these are the things he need to put in place. Right? Um, so when we draw a security framework, it's generic. It is from the from the perspective of the CISO, of the business, rather than from Kaspersky's perspective. And, and that's important. Right? Once that framework is there, once the strategy is there, like what I explained just now, um, when you have projects right, that, that comes along with the business initiative, when you have a project for refresh, refreshing your, your infrastructure, for refreshing your security infrastructure, then then you will bring in components that's consistent with this this framework, consistent with this strategy. Yeah. So that's what we do for a lot of our customers to make sure that that they are on a security journey with us and in the right direction. Yes.